owed to Liberty William Collins, Strophy, who shall awake the Spartan Fife, and Colin solemn sounds to life the youths, whose locks divinely spreading, like vernal hyacinths in sullen hue, at once the breath of fear and virtue shedding, applauding freedom loved dev old to view? What new elk house, fancy blessed, shall sing the sword, in myrtles dressed, at wisdom's shrine a while its flame concealing, what place so fit to seal a deed renowned? Till she her brightest lightnings round revealing, it leaped in glory forth, and dealt her prompted wound. O goddess, in that feeling hour, when most its sounds would court thy ears, let not my shells misguided pal single quotar, ere draw thy sad, thy mindful tears. No, freedom, no, I will not tell, how Rome, before thy weeping face, with heaviest sound, a giant statue, fell, pushed by a wild and artless race, from off its wide ambitious base, one time his northern sons of spoil awoke, and all the blended work of strength and grace, with many a rude repeated stroke, and many a barbarous yell, two thousand fragments broke. A pod, yet even, where'er the least appeared, this admiring world thy hand revered. Still midst the scattered states around, some remnants of her strength were found. They saw by what escaped the storm, how wondrous rose her perfect form, how in the great the labored whole, each mighty master poured his soul. For sunny Florence, seat of art, beneath her vines preserved apart, till they, whom science loved to name, oh who could fear it, quenched her flame. And lo, an humbler relic laid in jealous pieces all of shade. See small Marino joins the theme, though least, not last in thy esteem, strike, louder strike this ennobling strings to those whose merchant sons were kings. To him, who decked with pearly pride, in Adria weds his green-haired bride. Hail port of glory, wealth, and pleasure, ne'er let me change this Lydian measure, nor e'er her former pride relate, to sad Liguria's bleeding state. Ah no! More pleased thy haunts I seek, on wild Helvish's mountains bleak, where, when the favored of thy choice, the daring archer heard thy voice. Forth from his airy wrist in dread, the ravening eagle northward fled. Ort well and willowed meads more near, with those to whom thy stork is dear, those whom the rod of Alva bruised, whose crown a British queen refused. The magic works, thou feelest the strains, one holier name alone remains. The perfect spell shall then avail, hail nymph, adored by Britain, hail. Antistrophe, beyond the measure vast of thought, the works, the wizard time has wrought. The gall. Tis held of antique story, saw Britain linked to his now adverse strand, no sea between, nor cliffs sublime and hoary, he passed with unwet feet through all our land. To the blown Baltic then, they say, the wild waves found another way, where Orcus howls, his wolfish mountains rounding, till all the banded west at once can rise, a wide wild storm even nature's self confounding, withering her giant sons with strange uncouth surprise. This pillar dearth so firm and wide, by winds and inward labors torn, in thunder's dread was pushed aside, and down the should ring billows borne. And see, like gems, her laughing train, the little isles on every side, Mona, once hid from those who search the main, where thousand elephant shapes abide, and white who checks the west ring tide, for the consenting heaven has each bestowed, a fair attendant on her sovereign pride, to thee this blessed divorce she owed for thou hast made her veils thy loved, thy last abode. Second epoch, then too, tis said, and hurry pile, midst the green navel of our isle, thy shrine in some religious wood, O soul-enforcing goddess, stood. There off the painted native's feet, where wont thy form celestial meet, though now with hopeless toil we trace time's backward rolls, to find its place. Whether the fiery trust Dane, or Roman self o earned the fane, or in what he even left age it fell, twere hard for a modern song to tell. Yet still, if trot those beams and fuse, which guide at once, and charm the muse, beyond yon braided clouds that lie, paving the light embroidered sky, amidst the bright pavilioned plains, the beauteous model still remains. There happier than an island's blessed, or bow single quotares by spring or heap dressed, the chiefs who fill our Albion's story, in warlike weeds, Returned in glory, hear their consorted druids sing their triumphs to this immortal string. How may the poet now unfold what never tongue or numbers told? How learn delighted, 
and I must, what hands unknown that fabric right. Even now before his favor dies, in Gothic pride it seems to rise. Yet Gracha's graceful orders join, majestic throw the mixed design. The secret builder knew to choose, each sphere found gem of richest hues, what air heaven's purer mood contains, when nearer suns emblaze its veins. There on the walls the patriot's sight, may ever hang with fresh delight, and, grave with some prophetic rage, read Albion's fame through every age. Ye forms divine, ye laureate band, that near her in must altar stand. Now soothe her, to her blissful train blithe concord's social form to gain, concord, whose myrtle wand can steep even anger's bloodshot eyes in sleep, before whose breathing bosom's balm, rage drops his steel, and storms grow clam. Her let our sires and matrons whore welcome to Britain's revived shore, our youths, enamored of the fair, play with the tangles of her hair, till in one loud applauding sound, the nations shout to her round. Oh how supremely art thou blessed, thou, lady, thou shalt rule the West.